You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop, and it's time for a card game called Chaos, a simple game that's gone insane, the ruthless card game of ever-changing rules, ages 8+, plus, 2 to 6 players. It is a TDC game. Let's flip it around and check that guy out. Looking pretty uh, excited or freaked out because the rules keep changing. Let's see. To win this game, all you have to do is get rid of all your cards. It's simple. Until the rules change, and the rules change all the time, and most of them are a secret. Until you find out what they are, then they change again and again and yet again. All right. Let's just take a look at the, uh, the cards themselves and get this game out of the box. I'm using that to keep me from ripping anything. Sometimes those are hard to open. Let's get this out. Alright, come on now. Work with me. There you go. So there's the sets of cards. And we have two different decks. That's on one side. And this is on the other side. Players must only speak in a foreign accent. Hmm. So this looks like it's going to be pretty zany. Let's get these out. Now these I probably don't need to shuffle, so... All right. These probably need to be shuffled. Don't you just like opening fresh cards? And then you feel them in your hands. And they're very slick. And unhandled. The hippie. Next, oh, okay, let's just... Let's just scan through these cards. Now, this video is not a gameplay. I don't do gameplay videos. There's a lot involved with gameplay videos, and you really need to play it with a group of people as you go through the game multiple, multiple times. Multiple, multiple. You start to, you know, find little tidbits of rules and information, and you come up with your methods. So it's the lawyer card, uh, the contrary Mary card, the hippie card, and then these are number cards. The lawyer card again, the contrary Murray, and the hippie. Now we're going through the blue. Looks like the same thing. And then these bright yellow cards. The lawyer, okay, so now the yellow. And then there's wild cards. Ooh, those are cool. Lots of wilds. And chaos. This card is also wild. Change all rules. Ooh, see, that's where it looks like it's going to get zany. And then this deck... Looks like it's the same on this side. Rules, rules, rules. And then the actual rules. So let's read some of these. A player must only refer to another player as worthy opponent. Hey there, worthy opponent. When a player says pass, the next player must say caught. All right. Players cannot say the word card. Players cannot say it's my turn. It's my turn. You know how people do that? But you can't do that, Nat, and you have that card. Players cannot say the word stupid. Let's see. Players must sell, must yell four before playing a four. All right. A player cannot win by awarding a penalty card. Players must say holy moly before drawing a card. All right, interesting. Players must say I don't know what I'm doing before playing a black card. All right. As I scan through, you know, maybe you can read some of those. I'm not reading them all, but I'm just trying to give you a feel for what's going to happen in the game. Let's just take a little look-see at the instructions here. The setup. Shuffle each deck and then deal five red-backed game cards. Five red-backed. Okay, so let's just, uh, let's just assume we shuffled here. and I'm not going to stop here. Other videos I've stopped and shuffled. One, two, three, four. I'm just kind of mixing them up here with the wild card. And then game cards that say chaos. I'm looking at this picture now. So there is the game card. Then it looks like a flip card. And then a player rule card. So the rule cards go here. And then the rules as they change go here. So this is kind of what I see in the instruction. So... Let me just read a little bit here and uh, see if we can get the gist of the game. The object. To be the first player to be out of game cards by discarding cards of matching color or value on the previously discarded cards until all your cards are gone. So let's just say that's wild. Let's just take a two. 
Okay. So now I'm matching color. So two, I guess I can put blue down or matching suit and change color to black, right? Not suit, but number, sorry. Until all, okay, however, that is where the simplicity ends and chaos begins. Shuffle each deck, place the remaining game card deck in the middle of the table, turn the top game card face up and place it next to the deck, place a single rule card face up on the other side, so we're set now. We are in game time mode here. To begin play, the person who, okay, after the chairman announces let the chaos begin, all players pick up their cards and play begins with the chairman, discarding a game card out of the face up stack, remember that? Of the same color or face value. Uh, discarding a chaos card, okay, chaos card, onto the face-up deck is a wild card, so that's where their wild come in. Uh, every rule card is then changed for a new one, okay. Drawing a new game card from the face-down deck, okay, and either playing it, if possible, or adding to his or her and saying pass. So I could draw and determine, ooh, I am going to go chaos this is a wild card change all rules okay play the continues to the left and uh, players are possible strictly following enforcing the rule cards so right all the rules plus players must say six geese a laying before playing a six card so if i have a six card just by chance i have to say six geese a laying and put my six card down okay number six cards so rule cards the rules held in the player's hands are top secret. Oh, was I supposed to get a rule card? Yes, wait. Uh, each deck, and okay. Oh, and one back rule card. So that's where I messed up. So I get a rule card to hold on to. So this is my rule card. A player must not physically touch another player. Enforcement. Say, keep your hands to yourself and award a card from the deck. All right, so now we're on track. The rules held in the player's hand are top secret. So this is top secret. Never to be discussed. Alright. A rule card must be enforced by the next player before the next player starts his or her turn. The rule cards are very specific. For example, the rule card at the right mandates that all players must clap their hands after awarding a penalty card. Should you observe a player not following this rule, you will simply follow the enforcement. Okay? Instruction at the bottom of the rule card. Oh, so that was the enforcement at the bottom. And then, uh, in this case, you will say, Failure to celebrate. All right. Failure to celebrate. Then you will award a penalty card to that player from the rule dark card deck. That is all you will do or say about the rule you have just enforced. Oh, hidden rules. I get it. And then there's this P.O.O.ING. Point of order signified by shouting, Poo, or poo on you, and be called by any player who feels that another player's rule has not been properly enforced. Another player has taken an action that is not required by the current rules. Wow. See this? I mean? If you play this, you know, when you read it for the first time, you think, hmm, what does that mean? Uh, how does that work? Uh, what do I do? Uh, but then as you play the game a few times, you start to get a feel for the game. You consult the rules. What do I do in this situation? So that's as far as I'm going to go here, because I just like looking at all the cards. Special end game, and then that's it. That is chaos. So I'm, there's a hidden meaning here with these cards, and if someone touches someone, keep your hands to yourself, and you've just enforced your rule, all right? So they're pretty colorful cards. Looks like it would be a fun game. Do you think this would be a fun game for you, or if you had, a, had your family over and wanted to try a new game? Well, give chaos a shot. And thanks for watching, it's really appreciated. And if you check the description below, you will see uh, a playlist of other games. Later! If you want to find this item, click the link in the description area below the video. You can also watch more videos in this series by clicking here. Thanks for watching! And always remember, if you see a lucky penny, pick it up!